Hello everybody, it's Several Tool 4 for the weekly update. Uh, a few things today. First of all, uh, videos are once again going to be uh, the Shibuya Scramble stream. <clears throat> um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to try to do a stream this week. Hoping for Tuesday, because I don't want to stream on Thanksgiving, because uh, I'm going to be busy. Uh, and Wednesday, my sister is coming into town, so uh, I am going to be busy for that too. So Tuesday is the most likely day. Um, and we'll see what it is. We'll see what it is. Let's see, what else? Um, Pokemon came out, obviously. Uh, it's been very fun so far. It's uh, an extremely janky game, but I'm hoping that they'll patch that out. But uh, the game itself, like the, the core of the game is fun. Um, let's see. So for things that I drew this week, um, for Patreon, I did uh, Sprigatito, which... I think this is an okay drawing. Uh, there's a lot better Spurgatito drawings out there. I just wanted to have it playing with a ball of yarn. Um, and also for Patreon, uh, I drew uh, Mrs. Potts from Beauty and the Beast. Um, because uh, she's voiced by um, Angela Lansbury, who passed away recently, so... Uh, and another picture here that I don't want to show on the, uh, videos. Um, but yeah, let's see what else happened. My team won the Splatfest, Big Man Sweep. Uh, played a whole bunch more, um, we did a stream where I played a bunch of, um, Sonic Frontiers. It was a fun time. Um, do 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 Twitter is crashing and burning. Everyone just had a, a night where they decided to vent their collective frustrations and uh, stresses and um, act like the end of the world was happening. Um, but it's you know it's important to uh, to do that in a safe, controlled environment every so often. Um, it's like I have I have a good analogy that I think I retweeted. Um, <clears throat> let's see, do, 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 um, I got a book, I'll just get it. Um, one step at a time, uh, this is, uh, written, mostly written by, um, my friend Brian Frazier, who, uh, passed away, um, from leukemia, and, uh, it's just a book of, it's essentially an autobiography, but, um, half of it's written by a friend of his who finished it after he passed away, um, but it's, it's a very interesting book, I mean, it's, it, you know, it's interesting to me because he was my friend, but um, yeah, uh, proceeds go to the Canadian Blood Services uh, for that. So, one one step at a time. Reflections on battle with leukemia by Brian Fraser and Callum Fraser. Not related. Um, Brian's birthday would have been in two days, I think, twenty second. Um. Yeah, I guess if you want to do something to honor his memory, if you knew him or not, um, donate blood if you can, or, uh, you know, donate to a, a blood service, because it's a very important, it's a very important thing for a lot of people, and it's a, a commodity that runs out, uh, blood doesn't stick around forever, so people need to constantly be donating. Um, let's 
let's see, yeah, here's where Twitter was crashing and burning. Everyone moving over to Tumblr, posting less safe for work things. But it's still around. The only difference is that uh, Elon Musk just unbanned Donald Trump, so... <laughs> Monkey paw curls, I want Twitter to stick around, what will it take? I don't know. Listen, whatever. If we're lucky, he'll do something to get himself banned again. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't retweet the thing. It was just a thing saying that, like, now I understand why those people just spontaneously started dancing in the Middle Ages from, you know, during uh, the the Black Plague. You know, just collective. What was it called? It wasn't collective hypnosis. It was collective hysteria or something like that. Um, let's see. Okay, and that's yeah, that's pretty much it. I've been playing. I've been playing a bunch of uh, Scarlet and Violet, or Scarlet. My brother's been playing Violet. Um, yeah, I've been enjoying it so far. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, other stuff, I guess, uh, on the Dovey side of things, uh, it was actually, it was actually, a, not a terrible week. I think the only, the only thing that I still have, the only thing that I still have a problem with, um, the, the main side effect, I think, that I've been having with the, the antidepressant is that, um, I'm just very fidgety. I'm not like antsy, like um, nervous antsy. I just need to do something. I got a uh, squeeze squeeze ball that's been helping me, but um, I'm just very antsy, but um, not in a I want to do something and then like immediately start doing something sort of way because I've been having a lot of trouble getting started on something. Um, and I'm hoping that this doesn't affect my concentration for drawing because I I want to be able to draw stuff. But I, I, I drew a bunch of stuff this week. I drew at least four big... three big things in a, in a, a dumpy sketch or a couple of sketches. So, like, I'm hoping that it's a... Um, you know, I'm something I can work through, but uh, it might just be because I'm antsy about games I want to play or whatever, but uh, I've definitely felt... Uh, more internally calm, even if I'm, like, right now my feet are going and stuff, but maybe it's just because I'm animated and talking, I don't know. <clears throat> um, but, uh... Week and a half without... <clears throat> without, um... wanting to die is, uh... a new record for me, so, um... It's, uh, it's, that's been nice. It's been very nice. I've no it's, I've, I, I've noticed it. Like, when I try to, like, see, like, maybe I've just been ignoring the thoughts in my head, and then I, like, you know, stop and just listen to my internal monologue, and it's not like a running ticker going on anymore. Or if it is, it's just a very, very, very quiet thing. And I'm just hoping that... Um, it's not a, uh, it's not silencing, uh, good parts of me, but we'll see. I'm hoping not. I'm hoping that it's just something that will help me move forward. Uh, but so far, at the very least, it's been a more peaceful two weeks, which, um, has helped me in many ways. Um... I just don't feel, I don't feel, uh, stretched out anymore. Still having trouble sleeping. Um, but, um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's been nice, so that's good. Um, yeah, I still have, like, you know, anxieties and things and, you know, uh, getting, uh, 
you know, to actually do stuff, but um, I, I feel like I feel like it's helping. You know, we're at the point where the medication should actually start kicking in, as opposed to like the, the loading period where my body is like, "What the heck are you doing to me?" Ah, you know, rewiring my brain and stuff. But um, <clears throat> yeah, so far, so far, I think this has been helping me, and I hope that it keeps doing that into the future. Um, and I guess that's about it. I have a whole lot of birthdays coming up this week. We're in the, uh, we're in birthday central. Next Sunday is John. Luke is tomorrow. Syrah, Brian. My birthday is the week after John. Uh, yeah, just a whole bunch of people going, like, into this last week of November, last week and a half November, first two weeks of, of December. Juni, Sarah, Kazumi, Lonely Days. So many people. <laughs> so many people. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I guess, I guess that's it. Um, yeah, so thank you all very much for watching. Um, you know, if Twitter does just suddenly crash and burn, uh, I'll still be here on YouTube. Um, I got my Discord. Um, you know, there's links always in the description. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you for, as always, for being you, um, for doing the little things, the big or little things, uh, for the people around you. Um, it's very much appreciated. Just... You know, the uh, helping out, helping out the people around you, even if you're not in a great situation yourself. Um, <clears throat> it, it reverberates throughout throughout the world, and especially into ourselves. So, just keep on keep on being you, and keep on doing the uh, doing the good things. Thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.